Hello Taurus, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading for the month of August. I know we're halfway through, so let's just see what's going on with you guys, okay? Okay, so I'm getting a vision. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a sand clock. So um, some of you could feel like maybe you're running out of time or you're measuring time, you're racing against time, something like that. Time, time seems to be a focus. Maybe the way you're utilizing your time. Okay, so time is the common denominator, okay? Two of Pentacles is your main focus. So some of you could be going back and forth with others, um, going back and forth um, in your mind um, about something. Um, you could simply just be trying to obtain some type of balance in your life. I'm also seeing that some of you guys are needing to prioritize or you're focusing on what to um, prioritize, okay, in regards to maybe your home, work life, or um, just time, like, okay, um, like how, how you can prioritize and invest your time, okay, that's what I'm seeing here, um, but I see that a lot of you are focused on balance, okay, some of you could be dancers, you know, this is like a dead giveaway, of course, because you know, she's like a little belly dancer, some of you could be shaking that thing, you know, for some coins, <laughs> okay, um, using your talents, your gifts to create abundance in your life, to create some type of balance in your life, I see here, okay, I'm hearing charming, using your charm, okay, what else is going on, Taurus? okay, so we got the justice card, so you could be dealing with a uh, Libra, okay, or somebody who has, um, or you could have Libra in your chart, um, this could also be like a Libra dominant person, air sign, of course. So I see here that you're trying to liberate yourself from a situation. Like you've been going back and forth with someone or going back and forth in your mind. And so I see that justice is going to be served. It's, there will be a uh, balance that's going to be restored. Um, I'm also seeing here, you know, like I talked about, there's maybe a need for you to liberate yourself from a situation that is no longer serving you. This could be a job. You know, it's Libra seventh house, uh, dealing with partnerships relationships so there needs to be some type of balance okay um, I'm hearing giving me time okay so maybe there's a concern with maybe um, concern with someone not giving you enough time okay maybe they're uh, giving their time elsewhere okay or putting their energy elsewhere um, but I do see that there is a need for a liberation um, I'm also hearing for some of you, if you're if you're weighing things out and you're trying to prioritize, just do the right thing. Just make sure you have the uh, the best intentions. Um, I do see court as well. Some of you could be dealing with the court system, um, going back and forth with the baby daddy or <laughs> baby mama, something like that, or it just can be something else in regards to the court you're dealing with. The full card. So. I feel like after this back and forth, after the imbalances, there's going to be a new opportunity for you, a new beginning for you. Um, I'm hearing walk away. So some of you Tauruses are needing to walk away. Some of you are looking back at your past or looking back at, at someone who has decided to cut you off or maybe you have decided to cut someone off and they're they're wanting to move forward but they're looking back at you okay so i do see some type of hesitation as far as moving forward and you can be hesitant to move forward because maybe you fear for the worst um there is like an energy of someone that wants to just stay in shallow waters like they don't want to dive deep okay so this could be something going on internally within you maybe you're needing to balance out your emotions or dig a little deeper within yourself to see what's really going on to, to discover what imbalances you have or what's 
keeping you stagnant or what's limiting you or preventing you from moving forward or growing okay some of you need to do that um, but there is some fear of like diving deep you'd rather stay in shallow waters okay um, but for others of you I do see a new beginning but uh, it's a call for you to not look back maybe look back to uh, maybe what's the word look back to learn from your past but not look back to repeat the same mistakes okay um i also see taurus for some of you there is someone that is they're acting like they want to move forward but they're looking back they're looking back in a way it's like they're gonna repeat the same shit again okay that's for some of you not all of you okay so instead of looking for, they're like resulting to the past and resulting to old patterns. Knight of Swords. Wow. Could be dealing with an, an air sign person. Air sign person. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, wow. So I see here there is a message coming in from an air sign person. This could be someone that's pretty aggressive. This could be an aspect of yourself as well, Taurus. But either way, this is a message coming in. This message could be very blunt, um, very um, aggressive. Okay. Um, there is an energy of someone wanting to move forward. Um, but someone, maybe the other person is trying to prevent this person from moving forward in a way where they're just like, okay, I'm sorry. Or they're just trying to pretend like nothing has happened, but the person is not buying it. This could be you or this could be the other person. Okay. Okay. This person's like, I'm going to move forward and you're not going to get in my way. There's an energy of that. Okay. You're, this is this energy here. It's like, you're not going to distract me. I'm going to keep moving forward, but you're not going to distract me. And if you do try to distract me, that there will be consequences. Okay, it's like an energy of that. <clears throat> For others of you, as you move forward, um, or as this person, whoever this is, is, as they move forward, there could be just some conflict. Okay? Um, someone that's very um, guarded and wounded at the same time. It's like they don't want you to move forward. Okay? I'm hearing they don't want to leave you alone. This person could be a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart as well. Okay, really could be anyone. But that's the energy I see. Um, for those of you who are wanting to move forward, to, you wanted to leave the imbalances, the negativity behind, you have the ability to do so. You just have to stand your ground and follow your own ideals. Okay? As long as your ideals are going to allow you to grow. Okay, allow you to pave the way for something new. Okay, so some of you are definitely needed to stand your ground and do what's best for you. Don't allow anyone to distract you. Okay, let's see here. What else is going on with Taurus? Knight of Wands, another knight here. Okay, so you're going to have a... Uh, uh, a fire sign person, this could be you, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Um, there's someone that's there's someone that's very confrontational. Okay, um, I'm hearing running around like a chicken with the, with his head cut off. Okay, you could be running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Okay, um, it could just be things are just moving really fast and you're just feeling really defensive. So just really watch out for that. Create some type of balance. Okay. Prioritize. Okay. Choose what you're going to give your energy to. Okay. Because when we're stretched thin or we're spread thin, it can leave us very defensive and it could um, make us have somewhat of a callous. You know, we're hardened. Okay. So just watch out for that. Um, I, I do see this also as like movement. There's a need for maybe for you to take a vacation to just get away from the day-to-day -day, the drama the negativity um, I do see this as someone presenting themselves uh, Aaliyah Leo Sagittarius Aries someone that's in your corner someone that is like a, I'm hearing like a ride or die okay this is somebody that is just um, just has your back okay you could be this person as well people could see you as that Wow page of cups so but somebody's coming back or coming to you 
to apologize or this could be you uh, apologizing to this person you could be apologizing apologizing to this person but this person is still on the defense okay this Leo Sagittarius Aries okay they could still be on the fence uh, on the defense okay so someone's apologizing someone's trying to make a kind gesture someone's trying to make small talk and be sweet and nice but it seems like this person's not really having it okay they're still guarded they're not they have their defenses up they're not playing the game okay with you or you're not playing the game with them wow ace of pentacles so hopefully these cards don't scare you guys. <laughs> it's a deviant moon tarot. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles. So, uh, that's funny. I heard, take your apology and stick it up your ass. That's what I heard. So I feel like um, some of you could be in this vibration. You're not willing to accept someone, someone's apology and you're just focusing on your coin and focusing on your abundance, okay? Um, I also see that this is an offer. This is somebody who's um, offering you something tangible, something solid. Um, they're wanting to start new, okay? But they're still, <laughs> they're still a demon a little bit, okay? And when I say demon, they still they struggle with their uh, shadow side a bit. And this could be you, um, I see. I was going to say Aquarius. You could be dealing with Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. Uh, but this could be an aspect of your personality, Taurus, or it could, be, it could be someone that you're dealing with, okay? Um, okay, but this is for some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, but for others of you, I do see that someone is trying to offer something to you, tangible, something solid, but you need to let your defenses down, okay? You could be guarded because of your past and what you've gone through, maybe because you've gone back and forth with this person and there's been imbalances for so long, you're just like, eh, I don't want to deal with this. But for some of you, I see that this is a solid offer. Wow, the high priestess. Oh, hmm. So someone was rejected here. I'd see that someone was rejected here. And so you could have been rejected, Taurus, or you could have rejected someone. But either way, whoever got rejected, they're just spending time in solitude and they're just going within and just trying to weigh things out and balance, just balance things out. OK, um, this person definitely feels rejected here. OK. They really feel rejected, but they are trying to keep it together. They're trying to make it seem like they're not bothered, okay? They can be boiling on the inside, very upset, but they're like keeping their composure. Or it could be the opposite. They're showing that they're very angry um, on the outside, but on the inside, they just want peace. They want balance. So it's it can go either way, okay? Um but yeah, that's what I see. I do see opportunity for you guys financially as well. There is an opportunity for financial growth. Um, it's just really important that you guys focus on your priorities. Okay, you see the Ace of Pentacles here and then we have the uh, Two of Pentacles. So it's... Um, it's, it's prioritizing, okay? Uh, are you going to give more energy to your family? Uh, more energy to your work? It's... It can be anything, but you just, uh, you just, I see that some of you are weighing things out and you're making a choice, okay? You're creating a balance. Maybe you've been overworking yourself and you're deciding, you know what, I need to take some time out to relax, okay? Or maybe you haven't been working enough, okay? Or, you know, putting in the work and you're deciding to focus on your coin and you're deciding to um, work on attracting abundance and prosperity in your life okay um but it can go either way but there is there is an energy of prioritizing okay i'm also hearing choose your battles so taurus it's really important that you choose your battles do your best not to um, act foolish or allow others to um take you out of your element okay I'm hearing sweet escape, sweet escape. Okay, so some of you could be taking a vacation or just looking for a sweet escape. Okay, let's see what else is going on with Taurus. Okay, oh, what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? 
Yeah, somebody's butt hurt though, for sure. Somebody's feeling butt hurt here. But if you're feeling butt hurt, Taurus, don't allow the situation to make you bitter, okay? Um, if it's not you, this could be the other person that's just feeling bitter, okay? About the situation. Okay. Choice, intuition, and expression. So intuition, got that here. Intuition and high priestess goes hand in hand. Awesome. Okay, so choice. So, you know, Taurus, you do have a choice. There's many uh, paths that you can take. Okay, as you see here, there's a path here. There's a path there and there's a path behind her here, okay? So you have a choice, okay? You have a choice um, as far as who you want to be with. You have a choice as far as what path to take, okay? You have a choice to be happy as well. So the ball is in your court, okay? Or the crystal ball is in your hand, okay? I feel like some of you guys are weighing things out. You're trying to figure out which direction to go. You're trying to find out, um, or you're trying to receive like a divine message, okay, on which direction to go, but just understand that you have that inner compass within you. You can make the best decision for yourself. You know what's right for you. And if you don't know, it may be a call for you to sit and contemplate and weigh things out. Okay. Intuition. So it's really important for you, Taurus, to follow your intuition. Okay. You know what's going to make you feel good. You know exactly which direction you're needing to take. For some of you, you're knowing this. Okay. So follow that intuition. All right. And you see there's a bird, a dove. On your shoulder so spirit is trying to guide you spirit I'm hearing spirit is trying to free you also from a situation you may be um, in a situation that you're super comfortable in or complacent in. okay you could be very complacent in a situation a relationship anything okay so this is the call for you to free yourself your intuition is trying to guide you towards freedom okay an expression okay I'm hearing say it loud and say it proud. So if you are burnt out, if you're overworked, if you're hurt, if you're feeling just some type of way, express yourself and don't be afraid of, of doing that. Some of you like to hold your emotions in. Um, I see that some of you like to mask how you truly feel, but people can really feel it, okay? Because look at all these butterflies coming out from her head. Okay, you think you can hide how you feel, but everybody can feel your energy. They definitely can feel your energy. But what's most important is that you express exactly how you're feeling. You speak your truth. Okay. If you're wanting to be with someone, say it. If you're not wanting to be with someone, say it. If you're feeling hurt, say it. If you're feeling tired, say it. Just express it because you don't want to hold up, hold in all of that energy. Because sometimes when we do that, we end up in this night of Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands energy, which, I mean, these cards are not always bad, but I'm picking up on aggression, frustration type of energy, okay? So you don't want to hold any of that in. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to pick the second card, second card for Taurus, second card for Taurus. I'm hearing that you need to speak your truth, Taurus. Second card, second card. Second card. Second card. One, two. Because the second house belongs to you. So maintain your childlike spirit. Okay, so some of you are needed to take a load off. Some of you are just needing to chill. Okay, I feel like this page of pentacles, okay, goes hand in hand. Excuse me, not page of pentacles. Page of cups goes hand in hand with this maintain your childlike spirit because with the page of cups it's like this is an energy of like believing in magic believing in the possibilities some of you could have um, allowed your situation um, or a person to harden you so it's like you're not you're not fun and carefree anymore and it doesn't have to be a person that has caused you to feel this way it could have been a situation okay it could have been your own actions that have um, led you to feel this way okay make you feel as though 
you're on the defense or make you feel hardened okay so it's really important for you to maintain your maintain your childlike spirit okay and just go with the flow okay she's on a swing here so she's swinging back and forth so just go with the flow okay Taurus you're fixed right so it's a call for you to be a little bit more mutable okay changeable like flexible a bit too okay this this little fairy is not stagnant she's moving she's like there's an the energy of going with the flow of things okay um it's trusting the unknown too as well it's believing in miracles the possibilities okay Second card, second card, second card, okay, one, two, wow, step out of your comfort zone, okay, step out of your comfort zone, Taurus, like I said, some of you could have been complacent about something, maybe you're at a job that you don't like, or you're in a relationship that's not making you happy anymore okay so it's a call for you to step out of your comfort zone and it could be anything it could be just being open to change being open to a new beginning right and not looking back all right so you need to step out of your comfort zone north node okay Taurus likes to be safe they like to you know <laughs> They don't like to do things so fast. They like their comfort. So some of you are needing to just step out of your comfort zone and change things up. You know, maintain your childlike spirit. You know, a child is just, I mean, unpredictable. They're just, it's like the energy is free flowing, okay? So you need to step out of your comfort zone, all right? Okay, it's going to be the end of your reading, Taurus. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you're interested in a reading with me, feel free to send me a message to my website. And like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.